What's up, everybody? Hopefully you can uh, hear me, and we're live, and I'm going to check real quick just to make sure. Let's see here. Yep, looks like we are. Okay, we're good. Is the chat working? Yeah, it's working. Okay, good deal. I hope everyone can hear me, because I'm using a different mic setup right now. But, uh, yeah, how's everybody's week been? Hope you guys enjoyed the videos this week. Um, let's let me try to bring up the whole chat situation going on here, so I can read what you're saying. Well, I can see some of what you're saying on the TV here, but may you need to calm down. Okay. Uh, you guys like this shirt? I'm like channeling Dwight Schrute right now, but two cans instead of wolves. <laughs> All right, let me bring the chat up here. No, oh, look, Maeve's actually in the frame. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I finally have the perfect setup here. Um, okay, I think I can see the chat now. Instead of wolves. Oh, Maeve, calm down. We're gonna wait for everyone to get in here before we start start uh, talking and all that good stuff. Let's give everyone a blueberry real quick. There you go. Let's see if Beatrix will take one. There she goes. And Tupac. I see him looking for one. <laughs> there you go. Everyone's got blueberries now. You happy? Oh, we happy. You want more? Let's see if Beatrix will catch one. Oh, look at that. How about that? I don't know if Tupac... Oh, look, he did it too. Awesome. Okay. Everyone's athletic today. Here. You want this? You want that one. Still no luck with raspberries. Unfortunately. Here. <laughs> Are you going to drop that? Don't drop that. Look. Perfectly good blueberry right here. What's wrong with that one? Everyone's athletic today. Oh, God. Don't play, don't play my voice on my phone here. Okay. I see we're actually getting comments now. So, Andy. What's up, Andy? Asking again. Hey there. How's your week been? Well, uh, how has my week been? I'm trying to remember everything that went on. Not as much happened this week as last week, I don't think. But, I mean, I've been doing really well. I'm, I've been really happy and stuff lately and really optimistic. Um, what else? I looked into trying to move. I mean, we are all trying to move. We're getting closer there, so I've been working on that. I've been trying to call lenders and figure all that kind of stuff out and um seems like it might be a little more difficult than i was anticipating hopefully is this too loud for you guys hold on i see it might be peaking a little bit i adjust the volume okay i think we're good there what do you guys think um what was i saying oh yeah trying to talk to lenders to get the house situation organized uh i figured out stuff with taxes and all that good stuff and trying to get my um what did i need to do we needed to well it, it's difficult for me to do all this stuff because i'm self-employed for one which makes it more difficult because the income's not as consistent and two my job is unique uh i work with toucans obviously <laughs> so when i'm calling these people they're like oh what do you do well, uh, I have a small rescue for toucans that I do in my house. And they're like, how do you make money doing that? Oh, I make YouTube videos and blah, blah, blah. And uh, people support me. And they're like, all right, crazy person. <laughs> but no. Um, it is, it is going to be a little more difficult than I think. I do have to... I don't, I don't tend to usually use credit, like credit cards and stuff like that. 
So I haven't built the absolute best credit that I could have, but uh, I did one thing this week that I think is going to raise it exponentially, and I'm very confident in that. But uh, as far as everything else goes, and my average income for the past two years through doing this channel, uh, you know, I didn't make that much. And I'm making more now, for sure, because the channel is getting bigger, and that's great. I'm super thankful for that. But they look, they look at the last two years of all that kind of stuff. So I think we're going to get it figured out. But there's some question of whether or not... Or not um, it's going to be feasible to do in the time frame that I anticipated, which I was like, okay, maybe things are going really well. Uh, you know, everyone's being very, super supportive and, you know, I'm able to save a, a lot of money. Maybe I can move in June. Maybe I can move in July. I'm still going to keep that as my goal. But um, I, with the virus stuff going on, I don't know how that's going to affect everything because um, a lot of these places are giving loans out to businesses to help them stay afloat while the stuff is going on and there's just the, the world is different right now and um, I'm, I'm a little guy you know in, in the grand scheme of things so we'll see I have to get those two things settled uh, my my taxes stuff and the credit stuff settled within the next I think I'll have it settled within the next week or two and then so that's my current goal and then I've been doing a ton of work around here I know you guys don't really see it in here because this main area here I mean I spend the birds and I spend most of our time here and this is where most of the videos are shot obviously um, I've been working on trying to pack things up and get rid of things that I don't need. And then outside, I've done a lot of work this week fixing the house up. Um, like, I had my front deck and walkway completely rebuilt so that it would be more aesthetic, I guess, to a potential buyer for this house. And uh, what else am I doing? I did that. I'm trying to think. I did a lot of stuff this week, but it wasn't really like, it was like menial tasks like that, you know, it's like stuff that's like, I'm checking a, checking something off my list and then moving on to the next thing. So, but that's a huge thing that I got done. And that was uh, an expense I was worried about and it ended up not being as expensive as I thought it was going to be. So that's good. And um, things are moving along. I think... I think we'll be able to move this year. Uh, maybe not as soon as I hoped to move. But, you know, I was very... I didn't have a lot of hope <laughs> for, for that, uh, for moving, you know, a few months ago. And now I'm very hopeful about it. Thanks to you guys and thanks to the channel having an influx of new people coming in. And, um, I don't know, things just, things just seem really positive lately. And I know I said that last week. I'm going to reiterate it again because things are, yeah, things are really starting to look up and it's really awesome. So I'm very excited to see what the rest of the year holds for us if we can get through everything that's going on and um, continue to work for our work towards that goal. So, and you know, maybe, maybe it's a good thing that we have maybe a little more time to stay here. Because I know I'm really anxious to get out of here because of a multitude of reasons. Um, but, you know, it could be good to have extra time to save even more because then we could get an even better place to move to. Or we could have, we could have something um, extra to go towards immediately building outdoor enclosures. Like, you know, before I even move in, have that stuff up and running. Because my original plan is was to move and then be like, okay, maybe take a little breather, save a little bit more, and then build some aviaries outside. And, uh, but I don't know, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm biting off more than I can chew and maybe I should just kind of stick to focusing on moving and maybe, maybe start off with like something smaller and less ambitious for the time being. 
and uh, maybe have one outdoor area for the birds because that's the main concern for me with moving is having space for them to be outside uh, during the day because I think that sunlight is really important for their health and so I want to make sure that's a complete possibility but as far as like building a small sanctuary like where it would cost a lot more money to actually operate maybe I could maybe I could get there stay in a smaller place have one outdoor area for me and the birds to hang out in and then wait a couple of years wait for the channel to get bigger and then move to the big you know the more ambitious place I don't know I've been kind of debating where to go with everything but I know one thing for certain we need to get out of here and we need to get closer to the vet for one but just uh, away from here for a, a lot of the reasons I want to get away from here is for my own psychological health <laughs> Uh, for reasons I don't want to get into, but, um, you know, I'm, I am super optimistic still. It's just, there seems to be a little more resistance than I was hoping for, but I don't know. I think everything's going to work out and everything's going to happen the way that it's supposed to happen. And what more can you ask than that? So, oh crap. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh... Okay, well, she's fine back there. I think she was afraid of me picking this water bottle up. So, I'm sorry, Beatrix. Okay, she found a toy back there. So, we'll see. Sometimes she actually comes back now. Oh, here she comes. Oh, crap. Don't fly at Tupac. He's not going to like that. You alright? Look, come up here. I know you can get up here. She's behind the couch. She came back over here, but she's trying to... She got a little too close to Tupac, and Tupac's still not too sure about her. But let's, let's give her a little space to uh, come back up here in her own time and give her the freedom to explore the house at her leisure, because... Usually when she's out of the cage here, she stays like bound to one perch, and that's not really a good thing. Oh, almost. She still can't quite fly that well. <laughs> you can do it. You need to back up a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm trying to give her more space to explore the house the best she can, because she has... She does still have, like, atrophy and stuff like that that makes it a little more difficult for her to maneuver. And she's generally pretty nervous about leaving the one... She'll either go sit in the window over here and stay there the entire time. Or she'll sit here and stay here the entire time. And she doesn't really venture away from those two places that I put her initially. So I'm hoping she gets a little more brave and, you know is able to explore on her own like Maeve does but in due time uh, excuse me get some water see guys I told you I drink water nobody believed me I drink like I drink like two or three of these every night usually but I've been trying to drink one during the day as well usually I've fill up on water before I go to sleep. But, um, today we're going to be drinking water during the day. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let me, um, take a look at our, uh, I answered Andy's comment, and that's always usually the, Andy always asks the same question every week, and it's always usually a little catch-up question. So that's what's been going on with me the past week. Nothing too crazy. But uh, I'm going to keep you guys in the know as much as I can because you guys are kind of a part of all this too. And you deserve to know how I'm moving forward and time frames and everything I can tell you. So, okay. But let's take a look at what other people are saying here. Oh, crap. Maybe is, I know we're 
absent of two cans on well we have two pot we'll scoot over so you guys can see them a little bit more um let me get over to the comments again here okay next one is from barbara lynn and she says great to see all the birds out happy friday well it was great to see them all out for a second before you guys see Maeve back there on the fridge? Oh, it's this way, on camera. She pulls the magnets, and I have a dry erase board back there that she very much likes to pull the pen off of, and then go and she dips it in her water bowl. <laughs> and, and then I have to wait for it to dry out before I can use it again. <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, eventually Beatrix will be back on screen, hopefully. She's uh, still cowering behind the couch. She's still nervous, so. Uh, Curtis D says, hey, hope your week has been good. Pet the cans for me. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty good, like I said. Um, hope everyone's week, I hope, Curtis, I hope your week has been well too. But I hope everyone else's has been also, especially with all this craziness going on. Uh, Ar Ariel, Ariel, hopefully I'm saying that right, it says, Brock, I'm super glad I get to watch your live streams now, I work late hours, so it makes me happy I get to relax and watch you guys as I wind down from a long day. Keep up the good work, and keep pushing to make your dreams a reality, you got this. Thank you for the encouragement, and the kind words. And I'm glad that you get to join us as well. So, oh, here we go. Kate, again, hey Kate. Uh, see, I remembered how to pronounce K8 properly now. Maybe just took a big dump over there. I'm going to have to clean it up. Ugh. But Kate says, let's start the stream off right. Happy Friday. And they sent $100. So they started it off right. Right off the bat. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. That was very generous of you. And thank you for getting the uh, getting the donations lifting off immediately <laughs> with such a generous donation. Let me reload here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, yeah, I did. Jody sent three euros from the looks of it with no comment. Thank you, Jody. Amelie Madsen says hey brock hope you are doing good i am doing well thank you for asking um hope you are doing well as well <laughs> well as well what else okay i'm gonna try to nick nikki f8 f88 nikki f88 that's got to be it keep up the good work greetings to the cans i'm trying my best thank you <laughs> mr jam excess just sent ninety nine ninety nine, and thank you so much because so far oh yeah he sent he or she i don't know for sure sent the same amount not too long ago so thank you so much wow you guys are really starting this off like with a bang today we're close to this month's goal already i imagine we'll probably finish that up today and then uh, next, I don't know, uh, next Friday we just won't have a goal, I guess. Since we already reached this month's. Unless you guys think we should start next month's early. It's up to you guys. But, um, I'll probably just not have a goal. Might be nice not to have a goal for one stream, just to take a breather. Okay, Mr. Mr. Jam Excess is a dude. Thank you. Mr. Jam Excess. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Dude is gender neutral, though. Hmm. No, I'm kidding. He's a guy. <laughs> uh, let's see. April Emston. E Emston sent $3 with no comment. Thank you, April. Alex says... I've noticed that Tupac would chirp slash bark when Beatrix is close by. 
What was the reason for this? Love the banana family. Um, that's an alert sound. Well, that that call, the croaking sound, that because they all make slightly different alert noises depending on the species. Uh, there's two main categories. There's like croaking sounds like Tupac and Beatrix, and then there's yelping sounds like Maeve makes that sounds more like a dog. Um, but usually when they make that noise, it's to call attention to something or to alert potential danger. And the case with Beatrix, when he sees her, she makes him a little nervous because she acts, well, one, he's not familiar with her because she's new. Uh, and he's cautious anyways because of his health, but also because uh, she acts very unpredictably, <laughs> as you guys have seen. So every time that she's out, he gets he gets a little a little more nervous, and if she gets too close to him, he gets a little defensive. And I don't think he would actually bite her, but he would try to fence with her. And his beak is so much bigger than hers that I don't want there to be any accidents potentially, because Beatrix still isn't at quite the stage where she can fly off and escape like Maeve could, for instance. Like if there's usually there's some kind of communication going on there, but the if they're not healthy, the communication's kind of uh, disrupted a little bit because they don't behave normally because of mental health issues or physical in Tupac's case. Like, Tupac isn't going to fly off of his perch and get intimidated because he just can't, really. So he just, he kind of has to stay there and stand his ground no matter what. But yeah, it's just an alert. And um, nobody's going to get hurt, but he's he's making a warning to the rest of his flock, me and Maeve, whoever else he considers part of that flock, that, hey, there's something not quite right going on here. <laughs> or there's something fishy going down. Um, where was that? Okay, here we go. That was from Alex. I'm a flamingo. Good to see you again, flamingo. Says a little something towards the goal. Thank you for everything you do. Hope you and the birds are keeping safe and sane. Now we are keeping. I don't know about Beatrix. She's well. All the birds, except for Tupac, are a little insane. And I suppose sometimes I am too, but um, everything's been actually really well lately. It's been it's been a little tough not having or not being able to see people as often, you know, for me at least. But um, I, you know, everything's been going well. I can't really complain lately. Everything's been great. So Curtis Curtis D also sent ninety nine ninety nine. Man, you guys are being incredibly generous this stream thank you so much curtis uh thank you to curtis and mr jam excess if i remember that right and then who who else was it was it kate yeah it was kate so wow guys i don't even know what to say because that was just like i think that's probably the best start to a stream that we've had because it's only been like 20 minutes yeah 20 minutes and we don't even have the i mean we usually have like seven eight hundred people in here i think during this time and there's only 560 right now so that's amazing thank you so much for your generosity guys um and we'll add the youtube the actual youtube like super chats don't i have to enter those in manually to the little bar up here so uh it only counts automatically to the bar if you guys go through the link in the description for Streamlabs. do you want more of these So anyways, let's continue on here. Jonas Larson says, just want to say good night. Well, good night. It's not quite nighttime for us yet, but I'm sure wherever you are, it is. So we want to say good night as well. Please don't fling blueberries everywhere. And then we have to, we have to go clean that freaking nasty poo poo may have just made in a second. I would usually just leave it to later in the stream, but it's actually directly on the couch, which is unusual for her to do. So, uh, let's see. But let's get let's get through some of these comments first. Where did I leave off? Oh, fly for fun says love your videos and care for 
and with your two cans. Oh, and also give two Pock a blueberry. I can do that. Here you go, buddy. That's from Fly for Fun. If you guys, if you guys send a comment or a super chat or anything in, and just mention if you want me to give one of the birds a blueberry, I will do it. And you're from you to them. So just let me know in the comments. Uh, Ren Peach says, do toucans like pasta? If you ever want to talk, hit me up. Uh, I don't know what I would want to talk about. <laughs> but <laughs> do toucans like pasta? That's an oddly specific question. But the answer is actually uh, yes. Overwhelmingly yes. In fact, one of my friends uh, will give her toucans pasta every now and then as a treat. Uh, they seem to like foods that are high in carbs for some reason. And they like pasta a lot. Like just plain pasta, plain cooked pasta, like nothing else on it. And like spaghetti or like penne noodles or anything like that. And they love it. I don't know why. I haven't, I don't really feed my birds pasta. Maybe I should though, sometimes for a video. Because I don't think it, it doesn't do any harm for them to have it. It's just plain pasta, but they, they really love it as a treat for some reason. I don't know why. I'm assuming there's something to do with something to do with the starch or something that they enjoy. I think I, I think I remember reading somewhere that the natural fruit in South America and Central America is like more starchy than our fruit, like domestic fruit here. So there might be something about the starch content in it that, uh, makes them want to eat it like have some sort of instinct to eat it but i don't know that's an unproven theory but it seems like there's a lot of evidence to support that anyways uh let's see tally says love the t-shirt blueberry for tupac please i will give or, i almost said blue pock man i'm getting so tongue-tied lately it's weird what? You, you don't get one right now. You just had a whole bunch. I fed you right before the video, and now you still want all this stuff? Here you go. There's one from uh, Tally. Speaking of fishy, do two cans like fish? This is from David Stevens. Uh, I imagine they probably would like fish, but... I've never, well, I'm trying to think. No, no, no. I gave Tupac, uh, Tupac has had shrimp. But I don't think, I can't, I'm trying to think if there's any reason why they shouldn't have fish. Maybe because there's mercury in fish? I don't know. I, I've never given them fish. And there's no reason to give them fish, really. But there is a fun fact about toucans eating fish, and one of the early speculations that that first people that first described toucans when they first discovered them in the New World when they came over here, they anticipated that their bill was used to catch and eat fish because of it was long and serrated. Uh, obviously, we know that's not true now, but that was one of the initial thoughts upon seeing a toucan's bill when they first saw it. But they thought maybe they ate fish. Now it make, it kind of makes sense, you know, a long serrated bill. Kind of like, maybe they, they kind of thought maybe they'd be like a kingfisher or something. But, um, let me mute my notifications here. Billy Green says, hey Brock, what is up? How is Beatrix rehab going? It's going slowly but surely. <coughs> Excuse me, wow. I don't know what that was. It's going slowly but surely. Uh, it's going to take a long time for her to get... You know, Tupac's like getting nervous because she's moving around back there. Oh, she almost made it. Did you guys see her? <laughs> you can do it. You've done it many times before. Back up and try it. I hear her hopping back there. Um, it's going... I mean, it's going well, but it's going very slowly. It's not going to be... 
I don't know. I don't know if we're going to see big strides, like, suddenly. You know what I mean? It's going to be a long, even uh, amount of progress that happens slowly over time. And the main thing now is me just trying to get her actually comfortable with being outside of her enclosure and not being scared. Because she's still very cage-bound, and she's still atrophied, so she needs space and time to rebuild her strength in her legs and then her flight feathers haven't completely regrown on her wings either so her flight's a little bit inhibited and her wings are probably also atrophied so it's just it's just gonna take it's gonna take a long time for her to both warm up to being out here and out of the cage and also regain the strength in her legs and wings and coordination to properly maneuver like Maeve does so, you know, maybe this time next year, things will be very different. But it's really hard to say right now, in all honesty. But she's doing great. She's healthy. And she's got most of her tail feathers. Um, which is a good thing, because when, when I got her, her feathers were just in terrible shape. Like, it looked like she hadn't had a bath in... ever. <laughs> so, um... But she's getting there. She's not cuddly and friendly and outgoing like Maeve is, or even as energetic, but she's getting there. So, patience. Um, CHF sent, wait, no, D sent 5 CHF? I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, thank you, but there's no comment associated with it. And then we have Nikki F88 again. And they say Maeve is definitely the punk of the flock. She is the punk, that's for sure. Punk flock. Flock and roll. Uh, Neil Beaumont sent two Canadian dollars and no comment. Thank you, Neil. Alex says you should make a little ramp for Tupac for his perch to water pellet bowl. Also, I just imagine... Tupac, is, as an old man, is rocking chair just chilling while Maven and Beatrix are young girls having cat fights. Uh, a ramp, I've, I've thought about doing that or thought about like making steps for him or something or like getting one of those little cat ramps or dog ramps or steps. It's just not going to work with him. He's not going to be able to hop up an incline. He's not, I mean, he, he can jump down and then he can come over to me and hop on my arm and I put him back where he goes. But I don't think there's going to be... I don't think that's feasible in his case. He's not going to be able to get... I mean, he's going to... If he got on a ramp, he would just be sliding down the ramp. And it wouldn't be... I don't... He would avoid getting on it at all. So... Or even being anywhere near it, more than likely. So it's easier for him to just jump down. Because it doesn't... It doesn't hurt him. And then there's a little... There's a little carpet there for him. And um, then he comes he comes back around over to me and lets me know that he wants to come back up and I just pick him up and put him back. So uh, when, when I move, I'll try, probably try to elevate the dishes up and onto a little platform, like build a little area, like a feeding area with a perch out that's like at some level that he can actually move over to it and hop onto that perch himself and then maneuver normally uh but we'll we'll do that we'll come we'll make some we'll make modifications and stuff and i'll probably get new furniture and just reorganize the way i do things and how we all live together once i get out of here but for now i think this works so but i you know when when it comes to that i do want to make uh, I want to make the house more bird friendly, especially, or more accessible to not only all the other birds, but to Tupac especially, more easy. It would be, actually, it would be better if there wasn't, maybe if there was a perch going down like that, like a ramp, that he could just go up and down. Well, because it's still, he would still slide down it because he doesn't have a lot of strength in his feet, so. I just, I don't know, I just don't think, I don't think that would be, uh feasible for him you know I don't think it would work the way that you think it would you would think it would but 
Well, I'm gonna come up with some a better solution when we get out of here, because then I can, I can start screwing perches and f food areas into the wall, you know, the drywall or whatever, and and make actual areas that they can spend their time in, and it's a little more easier for them to live around uh, than in here. Because I mean, I didn't buy this house thinking I was gonna have three toucans in here, <laughs> and I don't want to modify it because I want to sell it. So. You know, and then like over here, I had a perch in the corner, and Maeve just completely pulled it out of the wall and destroyed it. And then she started pecking holes in the wall. So, you know, I don't know. We're gonna uh, we're gonna just deal with what we have right now. And then when I get out of here and we have a place that I can look and just completely design it from the ground up to have the birds in mind, because I don't really need that much. Like I'd be happy with just like a smaller couch to to sit on and then just have the entire rest of the living area be perches scattered around for them to have fun on and fly around and do their thing and you know have a lot of different surfaces for them to that that's made for them to go on and not cabinets because I, I really hate cabinets i'm definitely going to be covering the tops of cabinets up and shelves getting rid of shelves anything they can knock off and break it's it's going to be more practical for the birds especially you know i don't know we'll see what happens i have some ideas but to help tupac in the future but i don't think they're uh i don't think they can be applicable here right now unfortunately i wish they could be but i think our i think our situation we've been doing works well uh okay i'm gonna read one more comment and then i'm gonna go and try to help Beatrix and then clean this up. So, one more from I'll surely be back. I'll like the bird. I'll sure, surely be back. Uh, they say, a round of blueberries on me. Love from Tennessee. Okay, we're going to give them a round of blueberries. We'll start with Tupac since he's already here. And he clearly wants one. Here you go, buddy. And then, uh... I'm going to go grab a wipe real quick. We're going to see if we can help. Beatrix is just sitting on the vent back here. Uh, you guys sure did poop a lot back here. second guys enjoy watching Maeve and whatever she thinks she's going to be doing for the time being <laughs> trying to get into the blueberries. You guys need to like not learn to not poop. Can you just hold it in indefinitely? Okay. Look, look at the size of this papaya, guys. Look at this thing. Maybe she's afraid of it. Okay, she's stashing her blueberries up there. Isn't this like a huge papaya though? It's crazy. Okay, um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna try to get Beatrix to come up on the perch here. She's probably not gonna cooperate. Okay.
blueberry you dropped. Okay. All right, dropped it again. Wash my hands. We're, I think we're good to go now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm using a different mic setup, so let me know if you guys can't hear me as well when I move back there, and I will replace the mic with my old mic. That way you guys can still hear me. Oh, Maeve, are you freaking serious? She pooped in that exact same spot I just cleaned up. Are you serious? Ugh. This camera is a little like lopsided too. Let me fix that. There we go. <laughs> See how Maeve just immediately flies away when she even gets close to her? Maeve, you little chicken. Is it still lopsided? A little bit. I'm gonna set up something better in the future. Okay, we're gonna check comments again here in a second. Okay, she's sitting back over there again. In that same spot, she's playing with the toy now. You know, she normally never, they usually have like a few different places they'll poop. And that is not one of the areas, usually it's always back behind on this perch like on the floor behind the couch so it's easy to clean up then and then she'll go well usually it's always there all right it's on this perch right here and she you know, like that's not a normal place they have some sort of it, it was weird weird with ripley because ripley wouldn't poop on the furniture at all for some reason but mave does not have any respect so, <laughs> but at least it's not frequent. Okay, let's.
let's um let's refresh the thing here. We need to add the super chat stuff to the little bar eventually as well. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh yeah. Um, did some of these get lost again or something. I hate it when that happens. Uh, wait. There's got to be a better way. Okay. Anyways, let's just continue. Don't try to fence with him, Beatrix. You will lose. <clears throat> okay, good girl. Um, Amber May says, "Just bought a Toucan Park parody shirt. That's awesome." I'm. I'm. By the way, guys, if you're gonna buy merch, or if you want hoodies and stuff like that, uh, this is like the last chance to get them because I'm going to change it to tank tops and stuff very 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 soon so if you want a hoodie now is your chance because they're going to be gone from the store very soon so um but we're going to have we'll have tank tops or something in their place since it's getting warmer outside but if you live in another part of the world where it's more cool cool and you want a sweatshirt now is the time Uh, Curtis D is asking, I may have missed this, but will Tupac ever fly? No, he will never fly. His, his wings do not extend all the way, and he has arthritis on top of that. So he's never going to fly. And I don't know if he ever was able to fly to begin with. I don't think he was. I think he had some, some sort of negligence in his diet when he was a developing baby so he will i don't think he has ever flied or flown and i don't believe and he won't he definitely won't ever fly again but i'm not sure if he has in the past or not he can kind of he can fall with style you know buzz lightyear style he can flutter so when he when he like jumps down to his food bowls he kind of he doesn't like just jump straight down you know he he flutters down, so it's a soft landing, but he can't actually fly like Maeve, you know. Um, Emily Pancake, good to see you again, El Emily, says, I love your shirt, Brock. Have a great day. Yeah, you like this shirt? I like this shirt, too. I haven't worn it in a long time, though. I'll try to wear some of my other random toucan shirts that I've found on streams from now on. This is one of the ones I have. I have another one that has a bunch of other, I think it has like a medley of parrots and then there's like two toucans in there as well in the same kind of style so reminds me of the the wolf the three wolf moon shirt you know like dwight has in the office what is that a dwight is that dwight or was that the hangover or maybe it was both <laughs> but yeah it reminds me of those shirts i kind of like it because it's a little uh a little tacky are you serious? She just pooped right here? <sighs> Maeve, you are on a one-way trip back to your cage, if you're not careful. Um, Brianna Aaron, what's up, Brianna, says, Someone keeps suggesting showing the birds bubbles. Would you ever do that for a video? Uh, I've bought, I actually have bought bubbles that I have been saving to do a video with them i the problem is i don't have anyone to help me film so i don't know how i can blow the bubbles at the same time i, I don't know have uh, me and them in the video at the same time you know i kind of need like someone to film us together and i haven't had that yet so there's a few ideas that i i've been saving things for and i just haven't been able to film them on my own so that's one of those videos. If I can figure out a way to do it, maybe I, I mean, I could set the camera up on a tripod like I have now, but like the birds move around so much around the house that it's just not really that practical to have a tripod. 
Unless we're doing something like this where it doesn't matter as much if she goes back in there because the main focus is us talking. Uh, but we'll, I'll figure something out. But yeah, I do, I want, I want to see how Maeve reacts to those for sure. Um, well, okay, before I get too ambitious, I'm going to clean this up. I just realized that our Beatrix is in her spot that she usually goes to the bathroom. So now you're pooping wherever you want, aren't you? She's taking up your pooping place. That's why you're doing it. Okay, that makes sense. That's why she's pooping in unusual places. Because uh, Beatrix is... In her in her usual place. Ain't too chicken to jump up there. She's sitting right here. She's follow she's like hopping around following me around. <laughs> Go jump back up on your perch there. See if Beatrice might not try to fight you. <laughs> Is she in your spot? Is she in your spot? She is, isn't she? Ow! Don't pinch there. Oh god. Okay, well, we'll, we'll put... We'll put Beatrix up at some point so that Maeve can not feel like she's <laughs> going to die if she lands there. Let's get that out of the way so you guys can see Beatrix a little better. Um, where was I? Uh, Petra Kentrup says, oh, Maeve is on the corner over there. Like just out of frame. Maybe I can move the camera a little bit over so you guys can see. I don't want to cut Tupac out completely. There. Okay. That's a little better. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, Petra Kentrup says, Hey Brock, I have made some drawings of the burbs. Would you like them? Do you like fan art? Blueberries for all, please. Uh, yes, I do like fan art. And if you send them to me, the best way to send them to me is on Instagram, either tagging me on your art page if you have one, or just sending them to me in a direct message. And I get a lot of messages, but I do eventually try to check all of them. So send them to me on Instagram, Instagram, or Instagram <laughs> through a direct message. That's the best way. Or tag on your art page. Um, a Sarah Light sent 1999, but no comment. Thank you again, A Sarah Light, because they have sent they have sent uh, super chats before. Uh, Brandon 92 says you guys are awesome thank you brandon you're awesome thanks for your support uh try to sandra <laughs> she says remember me 
Sandra Sandrira. I can't, I, you know, I do remember you, but I, I did not remember how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> but thank you for the chat. And you have a good week as well. Uh, Stardust Dragon says, hey Brock, hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Please give the two cans a blueberry for me. Keep her going. Thank you, Stardust. And we are having, so far we're having a, a great day. So hope you hope you are as well. Uh, Hannah Teitelman, I think that's correct, says, I'm the same age as Tupac and I'm getting a hip replacement. We're bad joint buddies. Give all the burbs a blueberry from all four of your biggest fan. Well, I'm sorry to hear that because that is that sucks to be 16 and have to get your hip replaced for sure. That's way, 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 way too soon. So we'll keep you in our thoughts, and I hope that goes well for you. And I'm going to give them a blueberry. I was looking for the thing, and I forgot that Maeve had carried it off up to the lamp. So give me a second. Let me get it. There we go. Try not to spook Beatrix. There you go. Maeve. Maeve took it. She's under this little table thing, but she got it. There you go, Tupac. Okay. You want some of these? Why are you acting so hungry? You know, there's food down there. It's the food that you don't like as much. That's why you want these so much. Tupac takes takes the blueberry so much more gently. <laughs> Everyone else is so violent. Just snatch them from my fingers here. Look, do you want this? You see it? Oh, a little more gentle. Beatrix always snatches very quickly so that she can try to move away as soon as possible. <laughs> All right. Let's read the rest of the comments. <laughs> what is she doing? Uh, what a weird freaking bird. Um, where were we? Oh, here we go. Noah sent one dollar and says hi. Hi, Noah. Alex says, why does Beatrix sometimes have her beak open slightly? It's because she's nervous, and when they get nervous, they, they gape. So that's the reason she does that. And it especially makes her nervous doing the streams because I'm talking constantly and I mean my voice is already really loud and probably a little obnoxious anyway so <laughs> and, and I always gesture with my hands and stuff and move around and it just makes her more nervous than she would when I'm normally out or when she's normally out because when she's normally out I can be quiet and be more aware of how I'm moving around her more so than I am now because I'm trying to cater to an audience and you know I have to talk loud and do all kinds of things and so it's a little more stressful for her to be out during all this but it's probably good it's probably a good uh, exposure for her just in moderation I don't want her to get too terribly nervous but you know we'll probably we'll probably put her up and like a half hour or something. I think that's... <laughs> Maeve. I think that's probably the best course of action for these streams is maybe keep Beatrix out for half of the stream. Maybe the first half. And uh, if she's out at all. And then give her a break so she doesn't get too overwhelmed. So. Are you going to get overwhelmed? Okay, well, she's kind of preening now, so she must be alright. Um, 
Um, Jessica Mays says, I just found this channel last week and have already ordered two shirts. I have so much respect for you and thank you for all you do for the birds. All my love to Tupac, Maeve, and Beatrix. Thank you, Jessica, so much. And I hope you enjoy the shirts because I think, I think the latest designs that we've had on there have come out really well. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of them. But um, I need to start wearing mine again. What happened to mine? Oh, yeah, I left them somewhere. And that's why I'm not wearing them as much anymore. I need to order a new set of shirts, basically. Um, Admiral Tiberius says, thank you for all you do. Love your jungle chickens with dinosaur feet. They are remarkable birds. Love how chill Tupac is. Thank you for the kind words. And uh, yeah, I love how chill Tupac is too. It's, it's refreshing based on the behavior of the other two. <laughs> uh, Donna Hume says, thanks for the great work. We loved you at Varmint's podcast. Sorry, it can't be more right now. Uh, that's fine, Donna. Don't don't even worry about it. But thank you so much for supporting. We need to update the little bar thing, probably. I think we're ca are we caught up now? I always say I think we're caught up, and then sometimes we actually aren't. Let's see here. Let me bring up the actual stream here. Um, yeah, Maeve is, like, thinking about a bath. She's probably going to end up pooping in her water now. Did she poop in the bath? I probably need to check that. And refresh the water, if she did. Uh, have I ever owned... I'll, I'll start trying to read some of the normal comments while we're... We have some little space here between super chats. Uh, somebody asked, "How have you ever owned any other bird species such as pi pigeons, parrots, etc?" I had uh, I had budgies when I was a kid, and that's the only other bird that I've actually owned. I've worked with a lot of different birds, but as far as living with them, that's the only one that I've actually had, aside from different species of toucans. Did you? I think she did just poop. Ugh. Don't poop. And you pooped in the exact same spot over here again, too? Oh my goodness. Maeve, what is wrong with you? You pooped in your water, too. What is wrong? Why do you keep pooping everywhere? Why are you pooping everywhere? Come here. I need to put Beatrix up for a little bit. So it may have had some space.
She is on my arm. I actually got her to jump on my arm. There she goes. <laughs> She's gone now, all right? Can you go to your normal? Let's get all this poop up. We're gonna thank everybody for being very patient with us. Stop, stop biting that. Stop. 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 You don't want this paper towel, trust me. Or this uh, wipe, I mean. It's nasty. serious? You just poop there? Here. Fresh water. There you go. Have your bath. Oh man, okay, I think we're good now. Maybe, we'll see. We can adjust the camera a little bit now. Okay. Oh, a little better. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. That's just gonna have to be what happens during these streams. Birds will poop, and they will, there will be shenanigans that is, ensue. Um, let's check the check the chat that I've missed in the meantime. Try to figure out where I was.
Uh, Connor McMenemy. Good to see you again, Connor. Says, blueberries for everybody. Those beaks are looking very shiny right now. Is it the sunlight? No. Uh, well, it's probably a little bit sunlight because it does help with their color. But the shine on Tupac's beak is from, uh, I got like one of those little, you know the little pads that you get to buff fingernails? Like, yeah, to buff, like a buffing, I don't know, I guess that's what they're called, buffing pad? Is that what they're called? I don't know, it's a little, little rectangle, or like a, yeah it's a, yeah, it's a little rectangle with buffing whatever on it. And uh, it's normally used for fingernails, but I used it on Tupac's beak to just kind of give it a little, give it a little shine. So it does look a lot better. Are you a shiny boy now? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's shinier. I haven't used it on Maeve's beak though because her beak is not fully developed still. So her the keratin on the outside of her beak is still like young and growing in and it's like her the material on her beak is a lot softer still so her her beak won't be fully developed for probably another year or so maybe even more i don't know <clears throat> we'll see well probably another year um ren peach says would you would you ever get a flamingo or a peacock and no personally i wouldn't because they're they're just not my thing I don't know. Uh, first of all, I'd have to have a lot of property to have either one of them. But secondly, even if I had all that property, I would be spending it or the space on toucans and not flamingos or peacocks. I think uh, if I had a lot of property, I've heard that peacocks can just kind of live on your property and be okay. So maybe if I had a lot, but I mean, like, I'm talking years and years and years in the future because there's no way I can afford anything like that right now. That that amount of space, I mean. Um, era of the subscriber says, so about your shower curtain. What, what about my shower curtain? <laughs> Is this, this one that I have, that's not really a shower curtain that's on the in the doorway back there. It has two cans on it. I don't think it's a shower curtain though. It's just a normal one. A normal curtain. Or do you mean like from... I'm trying to think, was there a time I actually showed my bathroom? Oh yeah, there was a long time ago. I showed... Not a long time ago. Last year, I think. Maybe there was a video in there? I don't know. You're going to have to elaborate on that one. Private Chaos says, any plan on a Discord server? Yes, I think it's actually mostly done. And the person that was working on it, I tried to check with her earlier to see if it was ready to launch. And she said she needed to look over a few things before we launched it. So that'll be coming soon. And I know I've said that for a while, but we're going to try to get it out soon. But, you know, uh, we're going to figure it out. Don't worry. I have I have top men and women on it. Top men. Charlie the Supersaurus says, Rawr, I'm a dinosaur. P.S. Hi all. Hope you're all well and safe. Great to be here with you all again and glad to support something wonderful like Rock and the Birds. Give my love and blueberries to all the birds. We'll give we'll give Tupac a blueberry since he's right here. There you go. Oh crap. There you go, buddy. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, Shan Sins says, Hey, Brock, it seems I missed Beatrix. Will she be coming b back out? Also, do they like papayas and mangoes? Um, I just, I just put Beatrix back up. And because, I did it because, uh, well, one, she was getting nervous. Oh, maybe you freaking clumsy thing. Uh, <laughs> one, she was getting nervous. And two, Maeve kept pooping in these random places that were not okay. <coughs> because she couldn't go and sit in her normal spot to poop. 
which is right back here where it's way more manageable and she was trying to take a bath as well so I, I decided to put her up for the time being she might come back out I don't know we'll have we'll play it by ear but I, I've kind of decided that I think that it's probably best to only have Beatrix out for part of the stream maybe half of the stream um, just so she doesn't get too overwhelmed right now but uh, if nothing else, we'll have her out next next week. So, and it's almost it's getting close to being Maeve's birthday as well. So, we'll have a stream for that as well. That'll probably be earlier in the day on a different day of the week. Uh, let's see here. Lucas says, "Hey, just started watching the channel, so my question might be dumb, but..." When they make that skirt noise, what does it mean? Uh, do you mean the clicking noise, or do you mean the, um, like, croaking noise? Like, the louder noise that they make? Do you mean the clicking or the loud noise? I'm guessing s skirt kind of sounds like... I guess that sounds like the clicking noise. If, it, if you're talking about the clicking, like, let me see if I can get Tupac to do it. Can you click for me? There you go. That noise. It can that can mean a multitude of things. Uh, it just it kind of depends on their body language and the volume of the clicking and the pitch of the clicking. Like usually, if they're angry, it's more like higher pitched, and uh, it's normally louder. And sometimes it's like it's I don't know. It's just like a chattering noise. It can mean a multitude of things depending on the situation and what their body language is displaying and typically it means that they're content and they're happy and they're showing uh, they're showing that they're they're happy essentially but some sometimes it can be hey get away from me or hey you're bothering me like when i was just touching tupac a second ago he was kind of he was kind of like moving away and standing up tall he was kind of like hey i don't really want to be touched right now but you know we're cool but, you know, just don't touch me right now. <laughs> so it can, mean, it can mean many things depending on the situation, the context, and the pitch of the clicking, the volume of the clicking, and their body language especially. Uh, Curtis D says, I think they meant the Jeff Goldblum curtain, LOL. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably. I don't have the... Uh, well, I still have the Jeff Goldblum curtain, but I replaced it with a different one a few months back. So that's that curtain's actually no longer up, but I, I do still have it. But I did replace it with something else equally as silly. Um, I'm a Flamingo says, Will you be sticking to tradition and naming any future female toucans after strong women in movies slash TV like Ripley, Maeve, and Beatrix? Yes. I'll probably... Maybe I'll stick to, like, uh, film and TV characters for the females and then maybe musicians for the males or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably stick to that theme. Seems like a good fit. I have an idea for a name if I get a, another Toko that's a female that's within that same vein. Make sure. Oh, I should probably check PayPal and make sure that uh, I didn't miss anything. Miss any comments or anything? Oh my goodness, Mave. <laughs> She's on the on the lamp again. Don't poop in the lamp, please. All right. She's all wet now. She takes like. She takes like at least one bath a day, sometimes two. <laughs> you happy now? Clean bird. She has a good hygiene, except for the pooping on the furniture part. Oh, there she goes. She just did it. <laughs> well, at least it's in a more manageable spot now. Okay. Um, I'm going to check PayPal and make sure that I didn't miss any... 
any um, comments on here. Let's see. Although it's always more a little more difficult looking at PayPal. Hey there. That's it. No, that's not a comment. No comment there. Unless I'm missing these comments. Let me double check and make sure. No comment. No comment. Oh crap. What did I just do? Did I screw something up? I'm not seeing any comment. If you sent... If, if anybody sent a... Uh, comments on PayPal or sent a donation on PayPal and had a comment associated with it, let me know. Or want to say something, let me know. Or ask a question or whatever. I'm not seeing any comments here. Okay. I think we're good. And then I I don't, if there's not a comment, I usually don't read out. We had a, we had a generous donation on here of a hundred dollars but I don't want to read it I don't want to read it if uh, the name one because it has the real name because it's through PayPal but two um, I don't want to give that well there was no comment what was I saying no I don't want to read the real name on stream if they don't want that because a lot of times they just want it to remain anonymous so if there's no comment I'm going to assume that you want to be anonymous but thank you to that person that did that I'm not seeing any comments. I'm looking, I'm not seeing anything. But uh, let's let's try to update the bar though. Let's see here, because our super chat revenue is higher than. Let's wait. Let's see. Okay. Why don't we just, that's fine. We'll just, we'll leave it for now. We need to, let's wait for more to add up and then we'll, we'll update it. Because it's only, it's not even halfway through everything yet, unless we go shorter today for some reason. Okay. Um, let me try to actually read some of, sit back here, because it's like killing my back to be leaning forward like that. I shouldn't be doing that. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Uh, I can move the microphone a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, I can move the microphone a little closer. Oops, unplugged it. Never mind. Let's put the let's put it right here. A little bit closer so I can sit back. When I when I actually move, I'm gonna get I'm gonna set the whole I'm gonna set the whole uh, living area up with some easy way to mount a camera close to us, like maybe have some sort of mount on the wall, and then an easier way to get microphones closer to the actual wherever I'm sitting. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to try to set up things with that in mind though for sure. Just so the streams are a little easier. Kind of like think kind of like uh like the gaming streamers do, you know. But uh in this kind of area where it's more feasible for me to be streaming like this more regularly with with minimal hassle. <laughs> or less hassle, I should say. Okay. Hopefully this isn't too loud for you guys. I'll turn it down a little bit. Alright. Okay. I think we just got a chat in.
too loose for a boy after too loose after too loose Lautrec, the famous painter or rapper too short I might I might go with um I don't know if I could do more puns or not I might go with uh some guitarist if I get another male toucan this time around like a well-known or famous guitarist or songwriters or something like that. It, that. Not all the names have to be puns. I just thought Tupac was too, too good to pass up. <laughs> as far as the pun goes. Everyone wants me to name one Biggie, though. Maybe we should get a, a curl-crested Aris area and name it Biggie. Because it'll be smaller. Than Tupac. We'll name the smallest toucan Biggie. Having fun? Shaking water on me? Thank you. Ooh. Did you guys hear that? How's the how's the audio quality on this? On this new? Because it's a stereo. Well, you guys might not be able to hear it in stereo through stream. It might automatically be mono. But I got this to do more directional type stuff. And I'm hoping it works out well. It's like these different little modules you can put on the front of this. And it's like, has an audio interface built in that actually will interface with the computer, which is how I'm using it now. And then I can also plug it into a camera or record se audio separately from the video entirely. So it's a really, I really like this thing. It's a really useful um, audio recording device, and it's compact too. So I've been I've been a fan of it so far. Um. Oh, Kayla K says weekly contribution to poop cleaning supplies and fruit funds. Sorry, I missed Beatrix, but glad I didn't miss the whole stream. I definitely need some uh, emotional support for cleaning poop, at the very least. <laughs> but thank you so much, um, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Putnam, good to see you again, Debbie. Hopefully, I, I don't know. I'll probably say your name differently every single time you comment. But um, she says, "I love your merch, and I'm looking forward to seeing the new shirts." I love to watch the bananas. I would love to be as chill as Tupac. Stay safe and well. We would all love to be as chill as Tupac. That's for sure. Are you chill? People like you. You know that? These birds don't even know that all these people watch them all the time. They're just like living their normal lives as birds. They don't realize... They don't realize they're famous toucans. <laughs> They're just happy to be birds. You happy to be bird? Yeah. I know you guys. It'd be cool if I could actually do a stream. Oh, battery died. Hold on. Give me one second. Nobody F's in the chat for the battery, guys. That should last the remainder of the stream, hopefully. I'm going to finish this water off. You know, I'll tell you that filter that I got, you know, that I did the video on, that I bought, I bought it for the birds originally because it's a reverse osmosis to try to get iron and stuff out of the water um but man it it makes some great it makes really good water for sure i drink it all the time that was a great investment it was expensive for a water filter but it was a great investment um okay i think we're actually well, did i answer that question fully <laughs> 
I think I did. Yeah, okay, I think we're caught up now. I'm gonna try to read some of the normal... Oh, no, we just got another one. Ace Air Light 125 says, Final push, maybe we can get the goal this stream. I think I think we can definitely reach the goal this stream. And if not, no big deal. Because we have, we have another... We have next week as well. So, it's not... There's no rush. But, um... Then we started over for May. Well, I want to know what you guys' opinion on, on this is. Because I was thinking by May, I should know a little better how exactly how much we need in order to move. So, right now we've been doing monthly goals. But maybe once we know how much exactly we need in order to move. And, uh... The time frame is a little more feasible, and not only that, but like, um, what am I trying to say? You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Oh, the number's smaller. Because originally I was like, I don't know how much, I don't know how much, um, I was going to need in order to actually move, and I was thinking, okay, well, let's make, let's try to, get somewhere around 20 maybe 30,000 saved and then a, a lot of my own like it's not just stream it's not just these that are going into that account for saving for that I've been saving for it for a long time as well and I'm still continuing to save for it and the channel has done really well this past month which means I've been able to put a lot more than I usually was able to into there so it's knocked down that number that we actually need down quite a bit. So maybe we'll just do one, one last hoorah type of thing instead of a monthly thing like we've been doing for the past two. What well, it's only been two or three months since we've been doing this, but I don't know. I don't know. I want. You, I don't want to know what you guys think. Would Would you like it better if we had one, one big goal at the top? And definitely staying there until it's fulfilled. Or do you want to continue doing uh, monthly goals like we've been doing? Because I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to actually move. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, due to the virus stuff going on. So uh, we might have to, even if we get to the goal, like let's say we save up everything and then we find a house. And then, you know, everything's coming together, but then, like, because of the stuff going on in the world, we still have to wait, even though the money is there, you know, and it's financially possible to get there. It's just, the world is a weird place right now, and it's especially weird for me because I have heart problems, like you guys know, and I'm at a much greater risk to uh, the Tom Hanks disease than uh normal people because of you know even though I'm, I'm pretty young i'm 28 now but uh i'm i'm still at risk i'm still I'm, I'm at a much greater risk because i've had five open heart surgeries and a fontan operation and all this other crazy stuff and um you know i don't know if it's worth the risk trying to rush through moving because uh you know i don't think the birds would uh the channel wouldn't be doing very well if I wasn't here. <laughs> and the bird, I mean, I'm sure the birds would do fine because I have a place set up for them to go. But, um, if that happens. But, uh, you know. Things would probably be a little better if I were around to follow through on the moving and the channel. <laughs> so I don't know if it's worth trying to push that risk or not. Even though uh, I really want to and I'm really anxious to get out of here. Trust me, I've been trying to do it for years. And, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a long road. A long, a long, oh, I can't speak. I mean, I get tongue twisted all the time. It's crazy. It's been a long, difficult road, but the, the end is nigh, I think. The channel isn't too incredibly big, but we have some very dedicated, loyal fans and that is more valuable than any amount of subscribers you know 
So. And people believing in us. And that's something uh, not a lot of people can say, you know. But thank you guys for being here for all that. And, uh, you know, making it even remotely possible to be talking about this. And it's been keeping me sane for sure. Being able to do these streams every week and uh, talk to you guys. Because of my lack of current human interaction. <laughs> Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, the, op the operation I had was called a... Well, one of... I've had many. But one of the big ones was called a Fontan. And when I had it as a baby... Well, I wasn't a baby. I don't think I was quite a baby when I had it. I think that one I was more like three or four maybe a little older but uh it was an experimental surgery back then so like i i had a make-a-wish when i was a kid because uh they everyone thought i was gonna freaking die <laughs> here i am i should have uh i should have wished for a toucan sanctuary back then i need to hop in my time machine and go tell myself hey when these people come talk to you, wish for a toucan sanctuary. Trust me on this. You're going to need it later. You're going to have to wait like 10 or 20 years, but you're going to need it. Um, try to get back through the comments here because I missed a few. Uh, WTF, WTF Jaden says, what are your PC specs? I noticed yours is nice. Um, I, well, it was nice back when I built it, and it's been a few years since I've built it. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything. My, my car, my video card's a few generations outdated, but it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, GTX Titan... Titan Z or Titan X? I think it's the Titan X that was with that generation. I can't remember. I, I, but I built that computer back before I really started doing, like, started putting more focus on the bird or this whole channel, the the Toucan Toucan TV. I'm trying to remember all the specs. I know the I think the video card's a Titan. Let me let me Google it. So I can't remember exactly. Yeah, it's a, I think it was the Titan X. It was the it's the Founders Edition though. It wasn't a no. It's not the Titan X, is it? it might be. I'm trying to see what year it was released. release okay uh, yeah the Titan X released in 2016 yeah that sounds about right or 2017 no 2016 that's right it's a Titan X then I'm, I'm pretty confident that's what it is I'd have to go like run Specky or something to go double check and make sure because it's been a while and then I, man, I can't even remember all the stuff that I did a few years ago. I used to be so into computers, and then I started, I started having less and less money to actually invest in them, and so I just kind of lost track of uh, what, what was new and what I was doing. So I'm trying to remember the specs, but. I know I put a lot of effort into the video card because it takes so long to, like I was trying to render videos at 4K, 60P for, for this channel and for other channels I was working on around that time. And, uh, you know, it's that's a difficult task for a computer to handle. 
because uh, 4K video is no joke when it comes to rendering. But um, I'm trying to remember what the processor was. Maybe it was a. I know it's an i7 or yeah, an i7. Is it 5700? How it's really it's really bothering me that I can't remember all this stuff now. Whatever was decent back in 2016 was what I had. <laughs> no, it wasn't a 5700. I don't remember what it was. I wish I could tell you. Oh, well, maybe it was. Uh, I don't know. And it's, it's going to make my brain explode trying to think about it right now. I'll try to look next time I'm on my. Next time I'm on my computer, I'll take a look. I know it's about time for me to build another one, though. But I might. I think I'm going to wait until I move to do that. So, because right now it's getting the job done for editing, and that's mainly what I need it for. It might take it might take a little longer because some of the videos that I do take like three hours to render, and then I go and I I upload them and then I watch them to just double check and make sure I didn't like screw something up, and then there's something I didn't edit properly or something I didn't edit out that needed to be edited out. Like I said, I don't know some kind of stutter or something that I said or maybe accidentally left a black screen in there for a few seconds and then I'm like crap now I have to go back and re-edit everything and uh, render it again for three hours before I can put it out. So it's definitely helpful having a good video card to do all that. Um, let's move on. I took way too long to answer that question. <laughs> Um, Hellion Nor Norin Wheels, Hel Hellion Norin Wheels. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm saying that right. It says best of luck to you and your beautiful bananas. Oh, thank you very much. And I wish I could read your name better, but I suck at reading. <laughs> As you guys know, I suck at pronunciation and math. Those aren't my strong suits for sure. Let's, uh, okay, I think, are we caught up on comments, or did I miss some? I gotta go double check here on Streamlabs, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Maybe he's having a nice time preening, though, that's good. Oh, and I need to read Streamlabs comments, too, because I've missed those as well. Oh, here we go. No, we're good. We're caught up properly. Okay. Uh, cra Crabatic. Crabatic. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> Crabatic sent $100, <laughs> and I didn't notice because I'm dumb. I'm sorry, Crabatic. Uh, it was only 12 minutes ago, though, but thank you so much. And they say, I absolutely love what you and your birds represent. Keep up the good work. You deserve all the best. Give the cans a blueberry for me. Thank you so much. I'm sorry it took me so long to see that. I had to ramble on about freaking video cards for way too long. Here. We'll give the birds some blueberries from you. There you go, buddy. Happy. See, he was happy doing that the click that time. Even though last time he did the clicks and he was a little like, hey, don't touch me right now. But that time he was like, you know, hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate that. See? You can see their body language says quite a lot. You want some more, Maeve? Uh, Maeve's waiting patiently. There you go. Here's another one. You good? Your beak's getting so red. All right, see you later. She got what she she got what she wanted from me, and then she bailed. Women, am I right, fellas? Uh, follow Toki 
says, could we get more of Maeve's cute curiosity videos? I really love her personality and reaction to things. Uh, yes, yes you can. There will be, so long as I have a camera, there will be Maeve videos coming up. So, um, I'm sure you'll see some of that next week. I haven't filmed a new video yet, but she pretty much always acts that way. She always acts weird. <laughs> Out of water. Uh, Kayla K says, insert emotional support for cleaning poop here. Uh, thank you for the emotional support for all the poop cleaning. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it, right? We need to get dirty jobs over here. Or what's his, what's his name? Do I still do that show? The What's his name? Mike Rowe? Yeah, that's right. Dirty jobs. This guy has a toucan YouTube channel and cleans poop every five minutes. <laughs> uh, Barbara Stone says, love to see you in a new bigger place. First time donor here. Love watching the bananas mess with you. Thank you, Barbara, so much. And uh, hopefully we can make that a reality soon. And we're just, I don't know, we're going to just let things happen naturally and go with the flow, you know. I'm trying not to stress myself out about this too much right now. Because I've been kind of a little anxious over uh, not being able to actually leave in a time frame that I was more comfortable with. Like a few months and like having to wait till all this crazy stuff is going over. But can't change what you can't change, right? So no, no use stressing out over it. But thank you so much. Uh, random McKinnite. Oh, man, my pronunciation. McKinnite guy? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Says, hello again, Brock. Hope this helps with the move. Uh, it does, first of all. And secondly, I remember trying to pronounce that name at another point in these streams. And uh, I also failed that time as well. So it's good to see you again. And thanks for giving me a, a hard time with the pronunciation skills, which is not your fault, it's my fault, but. Uh, wait, did I already read this? Yeah, Hel Helen Orion on, Helen Oran on wheels, Oran wheels? Yeah, best of luck to you and your beautiful bananas. We read that, I think, right? Yeah, well, if I didn't, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna just say it again, just in case, because my memory sucks too. There's a lot of things about me that suck, you know? <laughs> Including my memory. Uh, Chris asks, says, Hope your toucans are amazing. Hope you're all staying safe. We're staying safe. And uh, thank you. They're pretty they're pretty amazing. You know, they're they're uh Maeve's a little clumsy, but she's got the personality to make up for it. She's all clean and fluffy now and shiny. Are you shiny now? Your feathers are looking good lately. Been taking care of them? She's like, why are you talking to me? Okay, let's, um... Okay, we're caught up. So I'm going to try to read some of the normal comments now. Kayla, don't try to donate with a crazy name just to mess with me. <laughs> you guys are going to start doing that, aren't you? You guys are going to be making up the most crazy, just weird names possible and, and donating with them so that I have to read them. And then you're going to laugh at me. Uh, two cans are very expensive, and I, even if you can afford them, uh, I do not recommend them or endorse them as pets, and I can't stress that enough. So they're usually they're usually somewhere around ten grand, if not more, 
for for me in my situation it was a little bit different because of the way i operate is not like i'm not just buying one for a pet like with tupac tupac was just outright donated here i'll put this in perspective all three of the birds that i have if you don't if you don't include medical expenses which was most of the bill for tupac and beatrix uh, but for all three of the birds, minus medical expenses, I paid less for them. Or no, I paid like almost the exact same amount for all three of them that I did for Ripley originally. So, but my point being is that um, thankfully I didn't have to pay like 30 grand for the three birds that I have, but because toucans are very, very, very expensive birds, especially uh, for captive bred ones. And with keel build toucans, I personally, I would not even, <sighs> keel build toucans are a huge wild card right now. And you're very, very, very unlikely to get one that was captive bred because there's so many of them right now that have been illegally imported and they get illegally imported every year for some reason and that really sucks and I'm almost certain that's what happened with Beatrix she was probably taken from her nest as a baby and forced to come here and live amongst people when she should have been with her flock in the wild and um, but now that she's here we can't do anything about it she can't she can't go back uh, it's just not possible so but you, got, you guys got to be very, very careful with who you... First of all, don't even get a toucan as a pet. Just don't. But even those of you who don't listen to me and still do it, don't get one from a pet store, that's for sure. And secondly, uh, you know, most of the breeders that you come across, breeders, are going to be a little, a little shady. Not all of them, but I, I don't know. It's just a, it's a hard place to navigate to make sure that you're getting a bird that was not neglected in any way or stolen or any there's just so many weird things about it that i would just even if that wasn't a factor or even if they did make good pets i would still say like probably avoid it because navigating that minefield and not knowing where you're stepping is going to be uh difficult because can can you imagine if someone who had never had a toucan before and just wanted a pet toucan because they were colorful and cool and whatever and uh, bought Beatrix in the state that she was in. Because when I got her, not only did she have all the weird problems that she has now, behaviorally, where she just bites me and runs from me every five seconds, and she has gotten better. Don't get me wrong, you guys have seen that, that she's gotten better. But imagine being a completely new toucan owner and having those issues to deal with on top of her having, she had two, maybe three respiratory infections when I got her and she was about that close to actually dying from those respiratory infections. And if you didn't know to look for those things, then the bird would have died. And even if the bird, you know, had survived that or you did notice that, then you have this bird that's just not ready it's just not a pet. Like, Beatrix would be a really... It should be even worse than, like, Maeve, for instance. Maeve is a perfect toucan, as far as toucans go. She's friendly. She's not trying to kill me every five seconds like toucans normally want to. Uh, she's a great toucan, but she's still not really a good pet, as far as standards go for other animals and stuff. Now, imagine if someone had bought Beatrix thinking they're going to get a pet... And uh, how just horrible her life would probably still be if that happened. And that's one of the reasons I was so motivated to try to get Beatrix. Because I was like, if I don't get this bird, someone else is going to get her. And she's going to just be in this constant state of being passed from home to home. Because people don't know what they're getting themselves into. And they're especially not getting knowing what they're getting themselves into with a bird like that. Because she's just... She's had a tough life. I don't know exactly what happened to her, but I can speculate. And, you know, she has some trauma going on in her little bird brain that's... She doesn't want to trust people, and she doesn't want to leave her cage, and she doesn't want to even leave her perch, and her muscles have atrophy. And it's just... 
you know, it's it's a difficult thing to work with. And people keep seeing videos of her on Instagram or on here and saying, well, she doesn't seem that bad. Who People who say that have no idea what they're talking about. And I'm probably going to start deleting those comments from now on because it's just blatant misinformation. Like, that Beatrix has a lot of issues, and I feel very, very, very sad for her. It breaks my heart that she's just so... She's afraid to even leave her cage. A bird shouldn't be afraid to leave their cage. A bird belongs in an open space that it can fly around in and be free to do what it wants to do. And uh, it shouldn't feel like it, it is unsafe outside of a small cage like she was in. She was in a, like a little guinea pig cage when I got her. It was probably about, probably about this long and about this high. And she had two perches that were like almost on the ground. And that's it. So, you went down? And that's, that's the fate that most of these birds end up in. Because they get these wild-caught keel-billed toucans, and they go in pet stores, and people buy them on an impulse, and uh, they, the bird suffers because of it, and that sucks. That really sucks, because they don't deserve that. There's plenty of people out there in this world that deserve a lot of things. <laughs> But birds are pure, innocent animals that don't have any malintent and don't deserve to be taken advantage of and taken out of the wild and forced into a small cage and then driven or flown into the United States illegally and then forced into a pet store and then if I get, they get a respiratory infection and stuck into a small cage and now they, they don't even know what, who to trust or what to even trust and their social skills are disrupted and it just sucks. And I, it breaks my heart that she's like that, but I'm hope I'm hopeful that she can come out of it and she can learn to trust me and you know trust being around the other birds and that know that they're not going to hurt her and they're friends, you know, and she's safe and she can explore normally and not feel like she is in danger. And M Maeve is a little privileged little shit. That's what she is. <laughs> Is that what you are? Are you privileged? You're a privileged little thing, aren't you? Maeve has lived her entire life with people that have taken good care of her. And she was born in the country, so. That's, uh... One of the bad things, or that's one of many of the bad things about exotic animals, just in general, so. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to talk badly about Beatrix's for, former owner or stuff like that, because I think, I think her former owner was well-meaning and likely a good, a good person. And they just don't, they're just not prepared. They just don't know. Like, it's just, she had other birds, and she probably took good care of the other birds, but toucans are not like parrots. They're not like other birds. And it's, it, there's a very, very strong chance that the problems that Beatrix has, like the way that she acts now, she probably had to some extent when the form, her form, former owner got her, you know, before she, she was duped into purchasing this bird. You know, and then someone else would have been duped into purchasing her, and that just list that just the cycle goes on and on until the bird dies. That's you know, that's usually what happens with toucans. Either that, or the breeders can't sell the birds, and they just leave them in tiny cages to die, basically, because they don't serve any purpose beyond if people aren't buying them. You know. So, uh, it's just, it's a dark, it's a dark world when it comes to that stuff. And you gotta, you gotta navigate that minefield and make sure that you're buying from people that are respectable individuals that actually care about the animals, you know? I think, I think at least from my experience, from what I've seen when it comes to exotic animals, it's hard to find somebody that both, pro both profits off of breeding them and cares about them. That's a, that's a rare combination. They exist. Don't get me wrong, they definitely exist, but it's it's a harder thing to find, I think, with exotic animals. And, you know, that's true, too, for dogs and stuff, because there's puppy mills and all that kind of stuff. But, um, 
even the dogs at puppy mills could end up in a good home, you know? And I suppose the birds can too. I don't know. It's just such a such a complicated, complex issue that's so gray. Like, there's not really, there's no black and white when it comes to any sort of animal trade. When it, you know, when it comes to selling an animal, there's not a lot of black and white, usually. I mean, there's always exceptions to the rule, obviously. I mean, there's all kinds of breeders that really do care about the animals and stuff and just want to make a living doing something that they enjoy, but... I don't know. I'm always super cautious when it comes to that stuff. I don't, I don't mean to go on a rant. I don't even remember what the original question was now. So I apologize for ranting, guys. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You want to look at this? You want to bite the microphone? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the air on because it's getting a little warm in here. And now there's no birds on screen because Tupac's eating down there and Maeve has flown off. Oh, she's back. Just kidding. Let me know if you guys can hear the, uh, the AC in the background. I'll, I'll turn it off or down if you can, if it's like too much for the microphone. Like if it's blowing the microphone out or something. Okay, I don't see the levels peaking too much, so. Um, man, what was that comment? How did I even get on, in on that? that? That wasn't even a super chat, was it? It was some other, it was just a random comment I read. Oh, about pricing, the toucan's pricing. That's what it was. The toucans are expensive because they're very hard to breed and they're very hard to come by because of importation laws make it illegal for anybody that doesn't have a the proper paperwork done to actually import breeders and stuff like that. It's very difficult for them to get that. And it's, you know, they have to have some a lot of experience to even get that to begin with. And then people, other people just, you know, ignore the law and just bring birds in anyway. And that's... That sucks. <laughs> so, May, like, Maeve's parents were wild-caught. I don't know to what extent they were wild-caught red-billed toucans. But they were properly... Well, they may, they may have been bred, like, maybe down in South America or something like that. And then they, they just imported them from South America to the United States, but it was done legally, and, you know, it's, it's hard to get that done legally, so, and it's usually zoos, or it's uh, breeders, or some sort of person with some kind of pull within that community that can get it done, because red-billed toucans are, like, Maeve is one of the only red-billed toucans in the country right now, there's not a whole lot. But like her parents were wild caught, and most most of the most of the breeder toucans were wild caught at some point in their life. But legally, or not legally, that I don't want to say wild caught specifically because there could be they're imported. I should say imported because there's a chance that they not they're not actually wild caught. But they they were not bred in captivity more than likely. But they've been imported from Brazil or wherever else, but done so legally. If that makes sense. Um, I, do I really have to read this? I'm going to read it because uh, it's from... Uh, I remember Stephen Colbert reading this on, uh, one of, on when he was on... Uh, what was it called? The Colbert Report. That's right. I love that show. I love I loved when Colbert was on the Colbert Report. I don't I don't really watch him much on. What is he on the Tonight Show now? I don't remember. But the name someone someone donated with a, a silly name. Let's see if you guys can get it. You ready for this? <laughs> this 
The name is <laughs> the name is Munchmakuchi. <laughs> And they sent three dollars, so thank you, Munch Makuchi. But I'm gonna have to pass on that one. <laughs> oh man. Okay, did I miss some of these com other comments? I need someone like actively here in the room with me, like keeping track of what comments I've read and. Which ones I haven't. Uh, Chris asked. I don't remember reading his comment. So I'm going to read it again. And if I have read it, I'm sorry. But I'm going to read it again. Uh, but he says, your two cans are amazing. Hope you're all staying safe. And maybe I did read that one. Either way, thank you for the, thank you for the donation. And we're, we're all safe. So don't worry too much about us. Okay. That was the only one I wasn't sure about. Oh, I think we did. did we just get another thing? Yeah. Andrea Brusolari, who has donated before, if I remember correctly, my, says, uh, My mom and I love watching your videos and the flock. Keep up the good work. We believe in you. Yes, I remember you now. And thank you so much for the encouragement and uh, kind words and your super chat very much and now there's no birds on screen Tupac wants back up though so hold on okay there you go buddy yeah I'm getting hungry I'm gonna have to make some food after the stream uh let's see here Uh, Kevin Longy, hopefully I am saying your last name correctly, says, could you possibly give me a little head pat for me? Uh, if she stays still. There you go. Uh, well, I gave her a pat on the head. She didn't stay still, but it, it's done. The deed is finished. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm freaking weird. I'm sorry guys. I'm so freaking weird. <laughs> it's a miracle people watch me at all. I don't know for some reason I've been especially weird the past week. Maybe I'm going crazy. That's probably it. Probably going crazy. Okay, here's one from uh, Shakira Kazuki. Said, uh, she says it's, she sent $5, but she says it's not much this time, but every bit helps. Question, what do the birds smell like? Also, PayPal charges me $1 for currency conversion. That's stupid. I hate PayPal. I need to get, I'm going to, I need to make a, what is that? What's it called? Cash app? Yeah. I think I need to do cash app or something so that we don't have to worry about PayPal's shenanigans. Cause that that irritates me. Why would they why would they charge you for a conversion? What is it what does it actually cost to convert currency? It just doesn't make sense to me. Um what do they smell like? Uh each of them smell a little different, but typically it's kinda like a dusty like a kind of a dusty like fruity smell it's kind of hard like kind of like a dusty fruity pebbles or something dusty dusty fruit loops there you go they smell kind of like dusty fruit loops i guess to some extent there's a there's kind of a sweet fruity hint to them and then they just i don't know they i don't know why they smell dusty but You smell dusty, buddy? Uh, okay, you don't want to be touched? Alright. Fair enough. I'm sorry that PayPal charges you for that. That's stupid. Uh, 
Um, I'm not going to read their name, but they left a comment on PayPal. FJ says, Hi, adding to the fruit fund, how many blueberries do you go through a week? Keep up, keep up the good work. How many, I don't know how many, I don't know a specific amount of blueberries I go through in a week. Like, because they drop, I think most of them end up on the floor. <laughs> to be honest with you, most of them end up on the floor of their cage or wherever else. And uh, so I don't know how many individual blueberries I go through, but I can tell you, like, ounce wise. I don't know how big that bag is. I t we talked about this last week. How big is that bag that I use? Let me let me let me uh, try to see how big the bag is. Yeah, this is it right here. Did you just poop? Uh, let's see. Forty. Okay, so three pounds. I go through probably somewhere around six to nine pounds of blueberries in a week. Somewhere between there, and then. Additionally, uh, additionally, papaya or cantaloupe or whatever is available at the time. If there's usually, I'll choose papaya uh, first, and then if papaya isn't available, like papaya hasn't really been available for the past few months, I finally found one that I got recently. But uh, they'll eat probably, I don't know, depending on the size of the papaya, they'll probably eat one whole papaya one to two papayas plus about six to nine pounds of blueberries and then depending on if i mix in any other those are the two base fruits that i use the most and then when i'm at the store usually i'll say okay well maybe a pear sounds good this week maybe a banana sounds good this week maybe uh dragon fruit Maeve likes dragon fruit now so i try to get them to mix in there a little bit to add a little variation but typically those are the two main fruits and something froze did it freeze or it caught up are we good is the stream working because it just it just froze for a second on my screen here and i think it's back but um but yeah it's like six to nine pounds of blueberries just depending because i've been trying to feed like more frequent smaller meals throughout the day rather than two big meals so that less fruit is wasted because it just it, it irritates the absolute piss out of me when i watch them eat and they just drop like they don't even like accidentally drop it they just pull the blueberry out and just drop it on the ground like drop drop kind of like may was doing with the raspberries uh in our last video but like I know they like blueberries. Why are you just throwing them on the ground? You know, like in the bottom of their cage or out here. And that's one, another reason why I keep the f food on the ground over here, well, outside of here, is so that uh, if they do drop it on the ground, they'll actually come back around later and eat it off the ground <laughs> after they've eaten uh, all the blueberries out of the bowl. I guess even sometimes she'll pick around the bowl. But they'll come back and they'll eat the fruit off the off the little mat that they dropped on the floor. So that's nice, but I don't have that luxury or they don't have that luxury in their enclosures because the enclosure is separated with the, you know, wire or not the wire, but you know, the typical barred barrier and then they poop. I don't I don't want them accidentally eating their own poop, so yeah. It's frustrating. But uh, I think it's easier to just do smaller meals throughout the day. And usually usually they'll eat out here. Like Maeve and Tupac will eat out here. And with, in Beatrix's case, I'll, I'll feed her many times in her enclosure. But um, trying to, I'm trying to find a way to minimize on food or fruit waste 
because a good portion of that six to nine pounds of blueberries ends up just on the floor of their enclosure or outside the enclosure they fling it across the room or fling it onto the wall and it sticks on the wall and then it dries there and it just stains the wall and it's gross it's just a whole thing so i've been trying to minimize that as much as possible and i think if i give them smaller amounts but more frequently they're less picky when they go to pick through the through the fruit they they're like oh crap when am i going to eat get it eat again i better eat everything in this bowl instead of just throwing everything on the freaking ground like a moron because that's what you normally do isn't it Maeve? you just throw all your fruit on the ground yeah she knows she knows what she does it helps for me to just hand feed them too because then they typically will actually eat it i got two blueberries left in this carton But then in addition to the frozen blueberries that I use, or like they're thawed out, that's typically what I'll feed them like in their bowls. But then I also buy a bunch of these too to just feed, like just to keep in my pocket or to feed by hand because uh, otherwise the juice is all on the outside of the, uh, the actual berry, you know, if they're frozen thawed blueberries and they're more messy. So these are cleaner to use as actual treats, especially like with Beatrix when she's here. And I want her to have a positive experience being outside of her uh, cage. And I can just kind of, you know, feed her like I was doing earlier, a little bit easier that way. And then there's not blueberry juice getting everywhere, which is nice. Excuse me. Adjust that a little bit. Um... Good deal. Okay, that answers your question, I think. We need to actually, I'm gonna have to pee in a second, to be honest with you guys. Okay, DK, I'm not gonna read your name out loud, but you know who you are. They sent $20 and said, Brock, you are amazing, blessings to you. Thank you, DK. Those are her initials. Okay, this person included their actual username from YouTube. Uh, Pablo Dugenheim says, uh, Stay safe, and you're a truly wonderful person doing wonderful things. Cheers to you and the burbs. Oh, thank you very much, Paul. That means a lot, and thank you for your donation. I'm sorry that it probably took me longer than it should have to actually read your comment there on PayPal. Um, and then we do at some point, we'll, we'll do it in a, in a few minutes. We'll add up all the missing, the missing, uh, chats up to the bar. Okay. Let me, let me make sure I'm caught up on comments or super chats here. And then I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. So you guys keep an eye on the birds and now Maeve's like acting like she's sleepy. Are you sleepy? And when she gets sleepy, she usually comes and sits between me and Tupac. You being good for a change? Don't you bite at her. She's not hurting anything. The other day, Tupac, I was petting Maeve like I was doing, and Tupac was like, hey, Maeve's a little bit too close. So he came up and he was like trying to bite at her and my arm was there and he bit my he bit my hand instead of Maeve and as soon as he did it he just gave me this weird look in his eyes like oh crap my bad <laughs> He just had this look in his eyes like crap I didn't mean to do that like he felt he felt uh upset about biting me He was like I meant to bite Maeve my bad bro <laughs> Okay, um, Kayla K says, weird is a bonus, and we're all going crazy, join the club. I'm sure that's uh, in reference to me saying I was weird earlier, and I'm a little, I'm a little late here, so I apologize, Kayla. 
But yeah, it's okay to be weird. Weird people are more fun. Um, let's see. Follow Toki says, thank you for making my birthday back in March. So fun when we're all quarantined. I was wondering why Maeve and Beatrix were sparring initially. And was that battle normal before everyone can coexist? Uh, it's normal for them to fence. And I usually, unless it gets a little out of hand, I let them do it because it's part of their structures and their flock. Like they, even if there are, even if they accept the person as a member of their flock, or not person, the other bird as a member of their flock, uh, they still fence pretty constantly throughout the, the, the entire flock. One will come up and challenge the other one, and usually it's for some area like a perch or something that they want to be in, or some food or whatever, and they, they spar, they fence, they only bite at each other's beaks, so they don't try to bite body parts or wings or anything else. And one thing I was a little concerned about with Beatrix when I first got her was, you know, she wasn't, first she wasn't familiar with other toucans, but also uh, she may not, she may bite other areas of Maeve that would be more dangerous for her to bite, like a wing or a leg or something like that instead of the beak. And But luckily that wasn't an issue. They just, they go, always go after the beak. But that's part of their normal flock structure and I don't I don't try to discourage it because I think it's part of their natural behavior and they they need it to kind of determine who I think if I interrupted it then they, their communication is interrupted and it's just not I think it's better for them to just figure things out on their own if no one's getting hurt and they never have hurt each other doing it and sometimes Maeve and Tupac will do it too and um, not to the same extent as Beatrix and Maeve but most of the time, Maeve doesn't even challenge her. She just immediately flies off. And she's gotten a little ballsy the past, this past week. She tried like two or three times, and they had an extended fencing thing. But Maeve was always the one to fly off first. And the one that flies off for, like, when they fence, the one that flies off is the loser and the one that kind of stands their ground and keeps the perch and keeps whatever else is there is the winner, and they kind of determine their... I don't want to say winner or loser, but that's how they determine the hierarchy of their flock and who's who. And after a while, they be, they come to an understanding of where they belong in their pecking order. Like with Maven Tupac, for instance, Maeve knows that Tupac is higher than her. So she doesn't try to come and bite him and mess with him. She has more respect and care when she approaches him. She's usually a lot slower. She's She's like makes little cooing noises and clicks to kind of say hey you know i'm not I'm not here to fight you i'm just gonna come hang out we're cool you know I'm not gonna try to knock you off your perch and then of course you guys have seen she preened she has preened him too and he's been okay with that and typically he's pretty okay with her approaching him as long as she approaches with caution and respect so um and that's that's just i think if i hadn't let them figure that out on their own then that would be a problem. And I think a lot of the times with toucans that you might have to actually fight back when they try to bite you, if that makes sense. Because if they learn that they can bully you to get what they want, then uh, I think they're way more likely to actually try to bite you. And that's just the theory I've had personally. And I haven't really had to exercise it lately. This is something I had to exercise with Ripley. Because Ripley was very aggressive. And I think that me letting her get away with that to some extent or ignoring the behavior because normally like with a parrot I think the thing you're supposed to do is ignore the behavior but toucans are different because they actually come after you and try to bite you so and it's always on the hands too I guess they associate with your hands with being what you manipulate objects with and that that's that's basically your beak to them I think this that Ripley never tried to bite me on the face or anything like that it was always trying to you know, maybe arm or hand, just this whole area. But she would come after me and try to bite me. And eventually I learned, okay, well, they do this in the wild and they fence. Maybe I need to kind of fence back at her and get her to fly away. And it's not hurting her, you know, just get her, not even like fencing back, but like just find a way to knock her, get her to fly away. 
essentially. So even if she would come up and try to challenge me, I would just kind of get up under her and like knock her off balance a little bit so she would have to fly away. And then she's like, okay, I'm the loser and I need to show this, I need to show this bird or person respect because they're higher up than me in the pecking order. And when you're higher in the pecking order, you get, you get away with more. And I don't want the birds to get away with stuff with me because I want them to think that I'm, I'm the top bird. And that has worked out really well so far with the current situation. But with Ripley, I think I had to figure that out. And it might have just been that Ripley was more ballsy to begin with and more aggressive to begin with. And Maeve could develop that behavior over time. I don't know. She hasn't fully went through sexual maturity. And usually that behavior comes out somewhere around the two-year mark when they've completed their puberty and they've, they get their hormones going and they're ready to breed. They get a little more aggressive. And uh, that's been my philosophy with that, and I don't even remember what the original question was because I always get off topic, but, you know. Hopefully that's, uh... oh, what was the original question? How do I always get off on some weird topic like that? Like, I always think, wait a minute, why am I talking about this? <laughs> oh, we were talking about their sparring. That's right. Anyways, that's, so I was on topic. So sparring is a normal behavior with toucans, and it's something I don't want to necessarily discourage, but I find a way to navigate it safely. I think that, but I think that amongst toucans, they need to do that to some extent um, to determine their hierarchy and their flocks and who's who and the, to kind of get their relationships going and figure out the tone of how they should approach the other bird and stuff like that. Because Maeve is way more cautious approaching Beatrix and Tupac than Beatrix is approaching uh, Tupac or Maeve. Like, Beatrix will just chase Maeve off immediately, and Maeve will immediately fly off without a fight because Maeve knows that she's lower right now. So, and then, like, uh, Tupac doesn't do any of that stuff because he's just, he has, he can't really move that much. So, it's a little different because we have two birds that are sick and they're, they don't behave entirely normally. But I think I, that's kind of why I, I left them area to see each other. And they're, when I put that divider in in their cage, you know, in the other video that we did when they, I first introduced them all together, uh, is to give them an opportunity to kind of interact in a safe way. And now they don't even try to fight each other through that divider at all. They, they Actually, last night I was watching them, and they come and they hold each other's beaks up through that gap. Like, just gently hold each other's beaks. And that's they just sit there for a few minutes like that. And just, like, gently tap, tap their beaks together and hold each other's beaks. And there's no fighting going on. It's different out here. They do try to fight out here. But... With that, I think that divider helped them establish uh, a baseline in their relationship that made it safer for them to um, coexist outside of here. Because uh, initially Maeve was trying to attack Beatrix, like in the video, when you guys saw the video. And I kind of first put them into a safe area where they could get acclimated to one another. And then once they were out here again, after all that, there wasn't any immediate fighting. Like there was, or violent fighting. I want to say, because they knew, they are like, okay, this bird might be cool. We might be cool. But they still got to develop their relationships in a natural way. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we don't know about toucans, but based on what I've read and, and seen and in the wild, that's how they behave. And I think it's only normal to let them do that in captivity as well. So, because it's not like... It's not like they're killing each other in their flocks every five seconds, so there's something right going on there. But anyways, hopefully that answers your question well. Um, uh, Ven, Ni, Pamela, K. Almost like there's two names there or something. Maybe I'm crazy. But um, they say, really, I really and truly enjoy you guys. Rock dude, you have an excellent sense of humor. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I'd like to say that I don't. But, you know, I do I, I do like comedy stuff, so I appreciate that. I try to be as lighthearted as possible, at least. 
Um, let's see here. Brianna Aaron says, Hey, Brock, do you remember me? Yes, I do. Brianna, like, Brianna the mod? Of course I remember you. <laughs> Curtis, oh, crap, Curtis, Curtis again, pulling out the big guns. Was this Curtis earlier that don't no it wasn't this is, might be the first time but Curtis sent uh not I'm uh, probably way late on this guys you guys probably already celebrated a while back but Curtis uh just sent 99.99 through super chat and he says I hope you have a great rest of your night Brock figured I would send one more before I head off to bed I also want to ask if you have given them honeydew before uh I think Tupac has tried honeydew because I had one of those like medleys of watermelon and cantaloupe and honeydew together but it's been a while and that's one of the fruits on my list to do for a video is honeydew so uh, we'll do that eventually but I don't think Maeve and Beatrix have tried honeydew and I think they like it though but I'm not I'm not entirely sure but we'll, we'll figure that out. And thanks again, Curtis, for very generous super chat. Incredibly generous. Um, Kayla K says, or asks, please, please, please get a video of Maeve and Beatrix doing the gentle beak holds over their cage divider. I'll try to. But usually it's kind of dark in the room and it's not going to record well. And when I get close to the cage, like, they back off. So I'm going to try my best to get that. But it's, yeah, it's a very nice, it's a very affectionate thing that they're doing, I think, which is good. I don't, I don't know why they don't do it outside here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it'd be nice if one day I could just have one big cage and they could all, you know, Beatrix and Maeve could actually be in one aviary together. So we'll see what happens. I think, I think they might become good friends eventually but it's just gonna take time but I think I think my approach to letting them work that stuff out on their own and not interrupting it unless there's like a potential problem which I haven't had to really interrupt before um, I think it's been working out well because nobody else has really had as far as I know nobody has mixed this many species of toucan in one house before or one area Maybe, maybe at like the Dallas Aquarium, they have several different species of toucan living in a big aviary, but uh, there's not like you can't go on the internet. Well, I guess you'd go on the internet and find me, but there's no guide that says, because toucans are so much different than parrots. You can't just take the knowledge of parrots and apply it to a toucan. It's not going to work that way. So there's not, there's not any information out there that's like, this is how you house multiple toucans together in one house, especially multiple toucans of different species and different sizes. But I think it's been working out great lately. So uh, I'm optimistic about that. Mavis, are you small? You're sweet when you want to be. You getting sleepy? <laughs> Thanks for being calm for a change. That's very nice of you. She's actually being calm for a change. Usually she starts settling down around this time, though. give her little scratches this is kind of like you guys saw in the video the other day like how to tell when a toucan wants to be pet and what she was doing just then is hey I'm cuddly <laughs> yeah they smell like dusty fruit loops Are you dusty fruit loop we don't like Fruit Loops references in this household, do we? We don't like cultural appropriation, okay? Toucan Sam is a caricature. It's a toucan cultural, cultural 
appropriation. Man, cannot I can't ever talk. It's so weird because like in normal life I can say these things with no issue, but for some reason you put a camera on me and now I can't I can't speak anymore. Being good. Not trying to fight anybody, not pooping everywhere, not destroying things. This is a good toucan. I wish I wish you were always like this. I don't know, maybe not always, because she's pretty entertaining when she's being crazy. Can you guys hear her clicking? If I scratch her on her back, she'll start freaking out. Are you happy? Oh, careful. See how she approaches Tupac? It's very cautious. Very submissive, I should say. And Tupac will tolerate her being around him as long as she approaches with caution and submission. But if she starts, like, coming at him quickly and more aggressively, then he's like, hey, back off. You don't know me like that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. So keep an eye on the birds for me. And, uh... Yeah, I gotta take peepees. <laughs> Hopefully Maeve doesn't follow me in the bathroom like she usually does. Okay, sorry about that. You want to come? You want to come sit here with me, Maeve? Come here. You want to come dig in my, dig in my uh, pant leg again? Let's uh, let's make sure we didn't miss any comments while I was gone. What are you doing, silly bird? Oh crap. Uh, Kayla, did I? Oh no, I already read that one. I think we're caught up. Caught up on comments? I mean, we got, we got 20 minutes left. Oh crap. I gotta update the, the thing. I completely forgot about updating the stupid bar thing. Okay, um, let me do that real quick. So, holy crap, okay, we made more than I thought we did today. Uh, okay, and super chat revenue, well I gotta subtract 30% from that, 
So let's see what 30% of, so, okay. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's bring up our calculator. Twenty eight oh five plus. Good news, everybody. Wait, did I, did I do that right? Crap, where did that go? Okay, yeah, I was right. Uh, let's see. Gold amounts. Starting amount. You guys are going to be excited about this one. Bam. Look at that. We exceeded our goal. Which means I don't know what I don't know what we're going to do next week. I guess we just won't have a goal next week. <laughs> What do you guys think we should do? Maybe we'll just leave. We'll leave up this one, and we we'll just won't have a goal next week. I don't know. You guys, you guys like that idea, or do you want me to reset it and get a head start on next month's? Up to you guys. Yeah, thirty percent is a high percentage, but that's what YouTube takes of super chats. Unfortunately, that's why I say if you're if you have a donation, especially a large one, go down to Streamlabs link in the description. Ow, Maeve, what the hell, man? Are you being bad again already? Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, go to the Streamlabs link in the description because they don't take, they take anything, it's not nearly as much. I don't think they take anything actually. So, you guys like Flock Fridays? You like that name? I'm I'm starting to run out of names for streams, so we just start like doing Flock Fridays and then the date maybe. <laughs> and if there's a special occasion, we'll name it differently. But I'm gonna start running out of freaking names if we don't come up with uh, some sort of term for these live streams. You guys like Flock Friday? Tell me. I'm gonna wait to see what you guys say. Make the goal ten for ten dollars for blueberries. Okay, we'll we'll do that. Ten dollar blueberry goal. Come here, hey, go back to what you're doing. Everyone likes Flock Fridays. Let's do Flock Flock Fridays. Uh. Trying to read all the chats here, see what you guys think. Yes, Google grabs 30% of super chats. I believe it's 30 or 40%. I think it's 30 though. Which sucks. They also grab that amount of my ad revenue every month as well. Hey, look, what is this? That's the first time I've seen... Oh, wait. No, now it's just a normal one. I saw a Michael Scott gif up there a second ago. Well, we're gonna read, we're gonna read that chat in a second after I... Brock's Flock Fridays? That would be so hard to say. Brock's Flock... I'm gonna end up saying the F word for sure, first of all. 
<laughs> Brock's Flock Fridays. Maybe we should just stick to Flock Fridays. Because we can say Flock Fridays because it's like all of us gathering together and we're all we're all like one big flock you know you be careful Maeve <laughs> desperately seeking approval and attention all right he's cool with her being there so that's good Maybe she'll start preening him if we're lucky. All right, well, we're gonna say Flock Fridays. Because if we say Brock Flock Fridays, that's too much of a tongue twister, and I'm definitely gonna say uh, an inappropriate word by accident. <laughs> oh, man. Tupac is so sleepy. Are you sleepy, buddy? Maybe it's like waiting for approval and he's like falling asleep. <laughs> okay. Uh let's let's read um let's read some of the comments that I missed one super, uh, super chat. The one that had the gif. Uh let's see here. Super Chris Seaweed says, congratulations on hitting your goal. Many well wishes to you and the flock. Thank you, Super Chris Seaweed, and thanks for joining us again. And then we have one from Streamlabs, uh, from Bromernot. Set, and uh, they say, hey, found your channel a while back through a recommended video that was about the sounds toucans make. All your videos are informative, entertaining, and I love them. I always find videos like yours a lot better than long documentaries. Keep it up, man. Thank you very much. That means a lot to me, and I'm glad the algorithm favored me in that moment to bring you to us. So thank you very much for the donation and for the kind words, of course. And we're... It sucks that, like, uh, Super Chats were, like, $730 or something for this stream. And then um, Google said, nah, fam, like, 200 and something of that is mine. <laughs> I'm not, uh, guys, we can't, we can't talk too much crap about Google here. They might hear us. They might, they might delete my channel. <laughs> we're going to start a, we're going to start a Twitch stream just to talk crap about Google. No, but this has been great, guys. We have 10 minutes left. If you guys have any questions, comments, super chats, anything, now is the time to do it because we have 10 minutes left. The birds are clearly getting sleepy, and I'm definitely getting hungry. I'm going to have to make some food after this. So um, now's your chance. I'm going to try to read as much of the normal comments as I can, and if you have a super chat or whatever, I will read it promptly before... Um, what am I trying to say? Before the stream ends. So. Let's try to go through some of the other normal comments. And I always, like, I go try to read the comments and everyone's in the midst of a conversation and I don't even know where the conversation starts and I don't know what anyone's talking about. Uh, blocks, bro, <laughs> see, I can't even pronounce my own name properly. Uh, when mixed, <laughs> when mixed with flock, Brock's flock would be a nice branding name uh it would uh i think i don't know maybe if i had thought about that uh when i was naming the channel 
we would have went with that instead of Toucan TV. But also flock, it could mean a multitude of birds. And we just have toucans. So, I don't know. I kind of wish I didn't include TV in the name because so many channels do it now. But it is what it is. Originally, I named it that because I thought the domain would be easy to remember. You know, just toucan.tv and then you could just type the domain in and immediately you're taken to the YouTube channel or website or whatever I decided to go with. So, that's why I named it that originally. I think it still works. You type in If you type in Toucan TV in your web browser now, it just takes you to the YouTube channel. So it's just easy, it's just easy to remember. It just, and it rolls off the tongue easy, easily. Uh, and Brock's, Brock's flock. Jeez, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw that up and say some bad words on accident. 252,000 in our flock. Oh, everyone, take a moment, if you're still here, to hit like on the video because it helps with the algorithm on this. It helps the channel in general. If Even if you don't donate and stuff, the best way you can do to help me out is like the videos and comment on the videos if you're a subscriber. And it does help exponentially because it helps, it helps push the videos up the algorithm. And as we've seen from some commenters here, they found the channel because the algorithm decided to push my videos up and they found it. So, why are you being so squeaky? So yeah, hit like. You want me to pet you? Is that why you're squeaking? You hear thunder? I hear some thunder outside. She still squeaks sometimes. Like she, you know, she used to squeak when she was a baby all the time. Sometimes when she gets all cuddly, she still kind of squeaks. It's like a little. It sounds like a, someone squeezing air out of a balloon gently. <laughs> Are you being good? You're finally being good, aren't you? It's about time. It's about time you were good. I know you guys can't really see her. I'm trying to. Maybe if I use my other hand. There we go. What a good little bird. We can move the camera in a little bit for these last few minutes. See, am I still on? Yeah, I'm still on here. Cool. See, she like lays her hand in my hand sometimes, or her head in my hand. Oh god, that was short-lived. As soon as I pushed the camera in, she flew away. Maybe she'll come back. I think she's gonna go get food or something. I think someone just sent a chat too. Let me double check. Oh, uh, excuse me, guys. Follow Toki. Says, thanks for reading the chats and also for inspiring me to paint toucans when I had a block. No problem. I, I try to read some of the normal chats as much as I can, but with this stream, it was, like, near impossible. Because so many people were sending super chats in. Which, I'm not, I'm not complaining. That's great. But, uh, you know, I try to read some of the normal ones as much as I can. Did you guys hear the squeaking? Someone said they hurt. Someone said, uh, someone said the squeaks made their ovaries explode. <laughs> F's in the chat for the ovaries, guys. For Alex Alexi's ovaries. <laughs> Can I use Instagram pics for fan art? Yes, you can. You can. You can use any of my photos for fan art that you want. There's no. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't think even if I wanted to, I couldn't enforce that. So yes, you have my permission to use my uh, photos for reference as much as you want. Uh, 
I found I found this channel after dinosaur channels and then bird channels. Dinosaurs evolved into birds. Coincidence? I think not. I've been watching a lot of some of the dinosaur channels lately too. And they are associated, so maybe that's why the algorithm decided to put them together. Okay, everyone heard the everyone heard the squeaks. That's great. If I want to tell about the time, okay. Make a wish. Someone wants to know about what what I wished for when I had the make a wish when I was a kid. Um I don't think I had much of a give it I don't think I understood what was really going on at the time. And we ended up going to Disney World or something. It was such a lame... Like, in hindsight, I wish it was something else. You know? Uh, but we went to... I think we went to Disney World and we stayed at this place called Give Kids the World. And I've actually been thinking about taking maybe Tupac to Give Kids the World. Because I have a buddy that works... Um, that has ties with Disney and give kids the world is like Disney's hey calm down it's like Disney's place for people who stay that have gone through things like make a wish they stay there at that the little village there and I've been thinking about maybe maybe taking Tupac up there to give kids the world if they would let me and uh, letting some of the the kids there that were like me uh, get to learn about him a little bit or Maybe pet him a little bit, stuff like that. Next next time I'm down in Orlando, if, if I can bring Tupac with me, seeing if I can bring him there and maybe show some of the or the kids there because I was there years and years prior. I'm going to go and be like, guess what? I lived. <laughs> I lived, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I think it would be kind of cool. And my car too, my Jurassic Park car, take take that and Tupac down there and just maybe show the kids and let them see Tupac and maybe touch him and stuff like that. It might be kind of might be kind of fun to to let the some of the kids there that had problems like I had get to see him, you know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll develop a love for animals or birds as well because of something like that. So, you never know. I remember trying to ch chase all the lizards down around there when I went <laughs> I loved trying to catch lizards and stuff when I was a kid. Maeve, shouldn't do we need to see her little beak coming in there? What are you looking at? I need to pull the camera back out again now that she's she's not uh, close. Okay. There's nothing left in that carton, Maeve. I'm sorry. Um. Move the mic over here so you guys can hear me. Do you think Tupac gets bored sitting in one spot? I don't. I don't think he's known anything more than that, so I couldn't say. I don't think he's ever been able to do anything more than just sit basically in one spot for the majority of his life. So he probably doesn't even think about it at this point because he doesn't act like an actual, he doesn't really act like a toucan uh, because of the stuff like that. Like he just, I don't know, his demeanor is just completely different from a normal toucan. And the way he just stands and the, what, the things that he's interested in, like he doesn't really have much curiosity in things and he doesn't really want to explore much and just stuff like that so i don't know i couldn't tell you i think he enjoys watching tv and he enjoys being around me and uh as long as i'm in the area with him he he's fine like he's he seems happy so um you know i don't i don't think he thinks about it i don't think he's known anything else so i think he's okay I 
Am I going to breed my toucans? No, not these toucans. I probably will never breed any toucans. I, I can't... I can't envision a reason why I would want to breed toucans other than just to make more money, you know? And that's not really something I'm interested in. So, if I can if I can make a living off of just doing what I'm doing and not making more birds for no reason, that will be, you know, in a life of captivity, I'd, I'd prefer to do that. But maybe, maybe if I develop some sort of relationship with, you know, a zoo or something like that where I'm, I have the birds there and maybe I help them or, you know, the birds are strictly going to zoos or educational or, you know, used for as ambassadors or for educational reasons and they're not being sold as pets, I might, maybe. But did you guys hear a squeak just now? I'm going to try to hold the mic close. Sorry, guys. I unplugged the mic again. I'm trying to adjust the volume to see if you guys can hear her squeak. If she'll do it again. Ah, Maeve, can you squeak for him? Did you guys hear the squeak? I'm trying to see in the comments if you guys heard it. Trying to read through. Man, I hate, I always get freaking lost in the chat. Because you have to start from the bottom up. I don't know why Maeve squeaks like that. Okay, I think you guys heard the squeak, but I'm not sure. I don't have I don't have a Jurassic Park Jeep. I have the I have the Explorer with the the one with the glass roof. You know the tour vehicles from the first movie. That's what I have. One day I'll do a video with it. But um, I don't know. I just don't really focus too much on that kind of stuff anymore. I focus. I keep my focus on the birds for the most part. So. I used to collect movie props and stuff like that and replicas and be really into the prop movie prop community and, and now I'm, I don't know like I've just refocused a lot of my energy onto just birds and especially my money so okay can you not poop on the cable don't do that come here come here okay never mind Yeah, Tupac is a good candidate for, like, demonstrations, especially with kids and stuff, because he's so calm. Like, can you imagine me trying to take Maeve to some sort of demonstration or something about toucans? She'd be all over the freaking place. <laughs> she would not be, she would not just sit on my arm and let people touch her, that's for sure. Uh, Charlie the Supersaurus says, wishing you even more success, Brock. You're inspiring people to care about toucans and educating us. Here's a question I've wondered about a lot, though. What do toucans feel like? Um, their feathers are really, like, it's, it's hard to, I guess the best way of saying it is, is like, their, their feathers are really, uh, almost like hair. Like, they're, they... They're not like normal bird feathers that you would feel, especially on parrots. They feel very soft and almost like fur rather than a feather. Uh, they're down, at least. I mean, like, their they're coverts and, and the flight feathers and the tail feathers feel more like a feather, but, like, the down is very... It's like, it's like a very soft hair. 
um, if you, I have to like actually pull a down feather off sometime and show it on camera or pick one up off the ground next time I see one would be better. <laughs> but uh, I'll save one next time I find one. And but it's a very like it almost looks like a miniaturized version of like a kiwi feather or a um, ostrich feather. It's very like like a pro. It's almost like a proto feather. You know, like they they you see on um, they are the people talk about with dinosaurs and stuff. It's very like I don't know. It's like a very like basic feather. It's very what's the word I'm looking for? Spindly. Is that the right word? Like, uh, oh, man, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Like, look, look up like a, look up an ostrich feather and then imagine that like much smaller and it looks, it looks like that. It looks like a proto feather, but it's like, it's almost like a hair. It's really, it's really unusual and it's very like their feathers are very thin compared to other birds. Um, like they don't have as many of them on their body like covering them as far as down goes and air series especially have more thin feathers so and then the the skin like around their eyes is is very like it's very supple it's very like uh like a velvet almost like this whole area the orange and blue around their eyes right there is very 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 soft it's like a velvet almost um and then their beak, their beak feels like, I mean, just feel your fingernail. That's what it feels like, but like much bigger. <laughs> so, but they're very soft. They're unusually soft for a bird. And they don't, they don't feel like, uh, they don't feel like a bird. They feel, they feel more like they have hair or fur when you touch their, when you touch like the down part of their bodies. Trying to see if like I can maybe I can pick Maeve up and hold her in front of the camera. Hold on. I'm just trying to show show them your feathers. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Might be out of focus. See how like it gets like fluffy up there? Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> Hope you hopefully you guys saw and heard me doing that um, oh, Dustin says hello there hello Dustin General Kenobi my friend Dustin sent that he is uh my friend Dustin, who just sent this chat, is currently working to fight uh, COVID in New York. So keep him in you guys' thoughts and prayers. I'm trying to get caught up on our comments here. Is everyone getting ready to go to sleep? Uh, oh, yeah, we're 10 minutes over. So I think it's about that time, guys. Time to call it a night. Time for me to get some food and uh, get the birds settled. And rest assured, that we'll be back again for Flock Fridays. That's what we come up. Well, that's what we're gonna call it now, Flock Friday. So uh, we'll be back next Friday, and then we'll have we'll have normal videos throughout the week like usual too. So, uh, but thanks so much, guys, for your support. And it, today was amazing. And. Uh, I'm really, I don't know, I'm just really excited to see what the future holds the next few months for us and to see where we are by the end of the year. Hopefully it's not stuck here still because of the virus, but, you know, I'm really confident and sorry if this is too loud, guys. I see it's peaking a little bit. Um, I don't know, I'm just really optimistic about the future, and it's that's something I couldn't have said as much uh even at the beginning of the year, you know, and especially amidst all this crazy stuff going on. It's just, uh, it's a good feeling to feel like uh, there's some hope in the future, you know, and you guys have done a lot to provide that for me. And uh, that's something I am forever in your debt for. So 
Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining us. And we'll be back next Friday, like I said. We'll have a new video probably like Monday or Tuesday, I imagine. Somewhere around there. I'm not sure what it's going to be on yet, but I have some I have some ideas. So, oh, maybe it's making that noise now. Hold on. Can you guys hear? Can you squeak? Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear a squeak? Okay, anyways. Uh, good night, everybody, and we will see you very soon next week. Everybody have a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic? Yeah. Why did I feel like I said that wrong? A fantastic week. Am I having a brain aneurysm today? Like, what's going on? A fantastic uh, weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys very soon. So, bye for now. Everybody have a fantastic night. Fantastic. <laughs>